And hello YouTube, this is GS Mousemart, and I'm here today with another brand tutorial, and today's tutorial we will be, we will be using GIMP. I know it hasn't been, it has been a while since I have done a GIMP tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. So uh, just before we start this, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to teach you how to make gradient text. Now, you probably know that you can make gradients on a background, and you can do several things with gradients, but how do you make text with the gradient effect. So you can basically call this a gradient tutorial. We're going to be teaching you all about the gradients, how to make gradient text, how to make gradient backgrounds, and whatnot. Now I have to go and auto hide this for now so I can move my toolbox. There we go. Now we can put that back. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a very simple tutorial, nothing too complex. We're just going to make a 600 by 400. That should be fine. Now, first thing we're going to be showing you how to do is how to make a regular gradient. Now, the gradient tool is this right here. It's called the blend tool. It'll be the uh, little square, grayish, blackish. Now, basically, you have all these options here, and each of them does several different things. Uh, this right here the mode this is mainly if you want to go some more advanced so uh, uh, just this is just a uh, more advanced stuff you want to use it or not for example dodge multiply overlay screen these all change the effect of how the gradient looks but for the purpose of this tutorial we're not gonna go too advanced because I know we have a lot of uh, amateur viewers so First things first, the opacity here just basically means how how uh, intense your gradient looks. As you see, with a, with a 60 one opacity, we have a very light gradient. Now we change that to say 100, more more intense. So basically, uh, you can change your gradients here. You have spiral. You have several different ones. I believe you can download some. I'm not sure, but you can look up if you can download some. You even have uh, this right here where you can do repeats. So very neat stuff to do here. Now, what we're going to be showing you how to do is how to make text with the gradient tool. As you can see, you have several gradients that you can choose from. For example, can use this one. Ta-da. Now if you don't like any of these, you can make your own gradient. So the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna go use the foreground to background, RGB, make sure you always have the third one selected here. And you can change whatever gradient you want. Say you want a red one and you want a blue one. Oops. A red one and a blue one. Now you have your red and blue gradient. As you can see, you can keep on changing this. And you can use different ones here, linear, whatever you want to use. So very useful. You can make your own gradient if you don't like any of the any of the ones they have there. So that's basically how to use the gradient tool. Now to make a text with gradient tool, you're gonna click your A here, and you can go and just make a box, and we'll type in YouTube. We'll make this black. And we'll make this a little bigger. That's good right there. And we'll change the font to something. Now, if you don't know this, you can uh, preview each font by pressing this button right here. Open the font selection dialog. And then you can just go through them like that. So we're going to be using... Let's see, what are we going to use? Let's use... Let's use this right here. This will do. is isn't the greatest font, but that'll work for now. All right. Now, we know that you can change the color of the text. As you can see, you can change the color of the text, but how do you change it to different colors? Now, usually people will tell you to go use this brush tool and color each letter. Now, if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. But there is a, is a fast way to do this. What you have to do is you right-click your layer your text layer which is the top one and you go down to alpha to selection this will select 
your text. Now, you go to your gradient tool here, you click it, and say you want to have, if you want to have your rainbow one, you can click the rainbow one, and then you can just drag like this. And there's your rainbow text. Now, be, be aware, wherever you start, wherever you start dragging, that is where your gradient starts. Wherever you end, that is where it ends. You can even do up and down, halfway. You can do several things. So you can play around with this as much as you want. Now, if you want to have your own gradient, same applies. You just go back to your foreground to background RGB, and there you go. Now, if you want to make an outline that is a different color, so say we want to keep it black, keep the text black, but we want to have an outline that is rainbow colored. So what you do here, you make a new layer, click the new layer button at the bottom here, make sure you have it as transparency, click OK, and you're going to drag this layer underneath your text layer. Then you're going to right click your text layer, click, actually you don't need to do that, just make sure you have alpha selection on your text layer. So make sure your text is still uh, has a selection around it. Then you're going to go to your new layer button here, you know, select, grow, and we're going to grow it by three. You can grow it by two, four, however much you want. However big your picture is, it depends. So you might want to play around with that. But we're going to use three here. Then we're going to go to our gradient tool again. If we want rainbows, we'll use rainbows. And we go like that. And we have our outlined rainbow text. If we want to use our own colors, we go back to FG to, R to BG, foreground to background, and drag it. And there we go. Now, as you can see here, uh, in the middle here, it connects a little bit. You might want to use a different font, or you might want to use a thinner, uh, not thinner a little bit. Don't grow it by three. Maybe grow it by two only. And you should avoid that. But that's basically how you use the gradient tool. Uh, you can do this with objects also. The same thing. If you want to have a person have a rainbow gradient around them, all you gotta do is the same thing. Your your object layer off of the selection, there will be a selection around your object, and then you can just put whatever color you want. If you want a single color only, very simple. All you have to do is set your is set your gradient to the same colors, and then you can just do like that, and it's one color. If you want to use that, but you can also just use the paint bucket tool, then it would make a difference. That's how you use gradients. I hope you've learned how to do this, and I uh, hope it's understandable. I did kind of go a little fast. If you got confused, I apologize, but I think it was pretty easy to do. Uh, you may go back and rewind if you want, and uh, pause it whenever you, you wish to do so. And that's pretty much how you do it. Thank you for watching. This is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.